the Cupertino tab view. And this is all the middle space of our application right now. So you will need to create a Cupertino tab scaffold first. Inside you will have the tab bar, which use the Cupertino tab bar. I already explained you this one in the previous widget. And now we will create a tab builder. This one will have the context and the current index. This will return the Cupertino tab view. For this one, you will need to have a builder. This one will have the context and will return anything that you want. For this example, we will return a center widget. The child will be an icon. And if the current index is equal to zero, then we will return the Cupertino icons dot home. Otherwise we will return the settings icon. But keep in mind that you can put anything inside the Cupertino tab view. And just like this, we have created a Cupertino tab view with Flutter.